There once was a country music singer-songwriter named Blaze Foley. Blaze Foley never found much fame during his lifetime. He was active in Austin, Texas. He was best friends with fellow country music drifter Towns Van Zant. He was known as the duct tape messiah. He would craft things out of the material. He would coat his clothes in it. And I think he went as far as to make an entire suit out of duct tape. Foley would spend his career touring the South and the Midwest, singing and writing songs about his hard-living vagabond lifestyle. On February 1st, 1989, Blaze Foley was at his friend's house in Austin, Texas, when he was shot and killed by his friend's son. Story goes, Foley was killed after he accused his friend's son of stealing his father's veteran's pension and welfare checks. At his funeral, Blaze's friends coated his casket in duct tape. And sometime afterward, Towns Van Zant and his band dug up Foley's body so Towns can get a pawn ticket for his guitar that Foley held on to. So that's Blaze Foley. In March of 1977, Blaze wrote a song called If I Could Only Fly. If you've heard of this song, it's probably because you've heard Merle Haggard sing it. He'd make the song famous by covering it 23 years after it was written. I personally prefer Blaze's rendition of the song over Merle's. The version I listen to the most is off of his Live at the Austin Outhouse album. If I were to describe If I Could Only Fly, I would probably describe it as a song that will have you driving around town <laughs> looking for a bridge to jump off of. Not because it's a bad song. It's not. It's very beautiful. It's just an incredibly depressing song. The song is a lot like Shrooms. If you're going to listen to it, make sure you're in a good place. The reason why I'm blabbering on about this song is because I've been listening to it a lot. I'm going to feature it in episode 20 of my web series, Stand. One could assume that if I'm listening to a depressing song, it's because I'm a little depressed. And one would be correct. But can you blame me? Can you blame anyone that feels the same? Look around, you dog, it's children of men. The only thing we're missing is Clive Owen. You would think an incredibly sad song would make me only sadder, but you would be mistaken. It actually makes me feel better. I love super depressing tunes. Sad songs make me happy. If I could summarize the sentiment behind If I Could Only Fly, I would pose it as, things are not ideal right now. I wish so bad they could be different, but that can't be because of forces that are both in and out of my control. That meaning, that interpretation I extracted helps me immensely with my depression. I've dealt with depression for most of my life. I feel I've had varying success with it because early on, I tried to look at the positives of my affliction. I fell for the romantic notions behind melancholy. A naive thing to do sometimes, but it led me to a train of thought that read, The only way this thing is going to completely waste me is if I let it go to waste. What depression does to me, what it makes me feel, what it makes me think, I can use all of that. I can limit its detriments by giving it use. I feel depression has made me smarter. It's forced me to trace thoughts and feelings to their possible sources. When I was younger, I was sad all the time until one day I asked myself, why the fuck am I so sad? Oh boy, was that a revelation. Depression has taught me many things. It's taught me how to step back and see the bigger picture, how to weaponize nihilism and cynicism, and how to come to terms with the existential insanity that is the universe we live in. This mental illness takes my mind right to the crux of the whole operation. It makes you see and feel how empty, fleeting, cruel, unfair, and utterly meaningless it all is. And that's a feeling I think everyone should feel at least once in their life. True despair. There's nothing quite like it. Lots of things send me into a tizzy. It's important that I know and can identify most of them. Being stuck in a dead-end situation really sends me nothing makes me more anxious than feeling like I'm wasting time or the time of others. Feelings of failure, minor and major, really put me over the edge. Um, I miss people. This is really funny. When I was in elementary and middle and, and, and high school, I'll add high school to that, I sometimes would spend entire summers blew out of my mind because I'd miss the girls I had crushes on. <laughs> and I'd never do anything about it because I was too chicken shit i was pathetic i'd just be in my house every summer playing pokemon feeling miserable to myself thinking god damn it i just want to see the bitch's face 
Feeling like I have no control or agency really does it for me as well. And I think millions of people around the country know this feel. I repurpose these emotions and their catalysts out of sheer survival. It's something I feel I gotta do. And even though it sounds otherwise, I won't pretend I have complete control over this. I can't just precariously mine my sadness for precious gems without acknowledging I could very easily plunge to my demise if I'm not careful. I always, always have to be aware and vigilant. I could have a bad year, a bad month, a bad week, hell, even a bad day. Luckily though, this song exists and it's powerful enough to make a bad day, well, not so bad. I listed some things that bum me out, but I think the one pervading feeling that blankets all of it is loneliness. I'm lots of things. I'm a comedian, a filmmaker, but at my core, I'm a lonely boy. I'm a lonely boy. I don't think that will ever change, and I don't think that's too terrible. The only way it becomes terrible is if I let it. With that being said, if I could only fly, a song that sounds like your grandma just died makes me happy because it makes me feel less alone. Things are not ideal right now. I wish so bad they could be different, but that can't be because of forces that are both in and out of my control. Somebody else has felt this way. Blaze felt this way. And in March of 1977, he wrote a song about it. And because he did, in March of 2021, I made a video about it. So all of you out there could maybe, just maybe, feel less alone as well. But I can hardly stand Got nowhere to run Another sinking sun One more lonely night If I could only fly if you could only fly If we could only fly There'd be no more lonely nights Thanks. Thanks, Ed.